راول پنڈی سے تازہ ترین اطلاع یہ ہے کہ جو روٹ نے پریس کانفرنس کی ہے یہ پریس کانفرنس سنے جو روٹ نے بتایا ہے کہ چوبیس گھنٹے کا وقت ہے اور کوشش ہے کہ انگلینڈ کل فل اسکواڈ کے ساتھ پاکستان کے خلاف میدان میں اترے اور انہوں نے مذاق میں کہا کہ رابرٹ کی مارکس ٹسکوتھک اور برنڈر میں کلم کل ٹاپ پہ کھیل سکتے ہیں Uh, yeah, there's going to have to be Marcus Jaskothic, uh, Rob Key, Brendan McCullum. There's a new top three for tomorrow. Um, no, there's, as far as I'm aware, there's obviously a few guys not feeling 100%, but um, I didn't feel great yesterday, um, and I've woke up a lot better today. So hopefully it's just a 24-hour virus, and I don't think it's like food poisoning or COVID or anything like that. I think it's just one of those things that we've unfortunately picked up as a group. Um, we try to do absolutely everything right to get make sure we prepared really well for this game and um sometimes life throws these kind of things at you as a squad and we've just got to see how i pull up tomorrow and do everything we can to to be right and ready to go are you expecting everyone to be ready and fit for tomorrow it's hard to say i've not seen anyone this morning literally got straight on the bus so um guys will do everything they can and work really hard in that respect so um just have time will tell i guess I suppose you're not necessarily the right person to ask, but do you know if anyone has been called up from the UK to come over or not? I don't. I've stayed far away from that these days. Put that right behind me. Even though I'm having to do this now, uh, <laughs> this is where the book starts. I'm not doing anything else. So, yeah. How disconcerting is it, though, that so many people are struggling? Today... It's frustrating. Uh, I think t today's generally an optional session anyway, so there's a, a few of the guys that wouldn't have come in anyway and that have, haven't, uh, that are feeling fine. So um, I say that there's not really much you can do apart from just try and do everything you can to you know, fuel, hydrate, do all the things away from the game that, that are going to serve you really well tonight in preparation for tomorrow. And, and that's all we can do now is it's, it's where we're at as a team. Sometimes you just pick up a bug in the virus and... When you're all tied together in, in one hotel, it, it can spread around, and we've done everything we can to try and mitigate that, but um, just have to see how things go tonight and tomorrow. I know most of you who train here have been named in the team, but for example, Keith and Jennings hasn't, but is it really important that he's kind of ready to go just in case all those guys who weren't named could both find themselves thrown in? Yeah, I think it's the same for anyone that's not in that 11, is making sure that mentally they're prepared and ready to play. You know, even likes of Collie and Geezy have to be ready to play. Um, no, uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, it's part and parcel of being on a on a tour. Sometimes like these things get thrown at you as a squad, and that's why you have 16, 15, 16 guys here, so that um, injuries and illness, you've you've got re guys ready to go. We'll go Lawrence, Ali, and then we'll open it up to the rest of the media standing gentlemen here. Hi, Joe. Um, just wondered whether any part of you has wondered whether you might be captain of England in Test cricket again. No, I don't think so. I don't think so, no. Wums if Ben doesn't make it? I don't know, but I don't think so. We'll see. Would, would you not be the stand-in? Um, no, I don't know. I don't think so. I think Poby did it the other day. I think he did a great job, so we'll see. Hopefully that's not even a conversation that we need to entertain. Ali, and then we'll go here in front. Hi, Joe. Sorry, just away from the bug. Um, ben Stokes named you as the second spinner in his team yesterday, placing you ahead of Liam. About time. Well, that was going to be my question. How, uh, how do you sort of how do you view that challenge? Um, what does that what does that mean for you? How does how do things change for you in that respect? Uh, nothing really. I just go about my business as normal. Uh, quite experienced now, even though I don't bowl a huge amount. I know roughly what I'm trying to do, and, and it's just about trying to execute it and help out the, the bowling group where I can. Um, try and look to take wickets when when the time's uh, right, and and you know work in partnership with the guys at the other end. Yes, uh, Joe. This is uh, Zaid Farooq Malik from the Bowl News. Uh, what is the latest situation in your team squad? Because uh, you have already uh, announced the team l last day. Is there is uh, any possibility to change the team? And what about the pitch you have seen? Oh, I think the pitch looks good from what I've seen. In terms of our squad, as far as I'm aware, it's the same same team as has been announced. Just if there are any. Guys that aren't fit, then I'm sure there'll be a late decision made. But as far as I'm aware, 
Um, it'll be exactly the same as has been has been told previously. But pitch looks good. Should be a great game. Uh, expected in a very exciting series. Um, we'll look to keep um, the momentum that we gained throughout the summer and play in the manner that we've we've played over the last uh, six or seven games. And um, yeah, we we expect a very strong Pakistan side at home to um, to put in a, a really strong performance too. So it's, it should be a ripper. Joe, despite the fact that England beat Pakistan in the final of the T20 World Cup, uh, Pakistani fans still love English cricket team. Few words for the fans who are coming to see you guys playing in Rawalpindi tomorrow. We're all really excited to get going. Um, now there is obviously uh, frustrating. There's a few guys that are ill at the minute, but when it comes to tomorrow, and it's a uh, speaking to the guys that were here in the T20 series, the atmosphere within the stadiums was amazing. It was electric, and that's what you want. You want to turn up to grounds. You want to see the passion for the, the supporters everywhere around the world that you go and um, it's it's great for us to be a part of a very historic tour um, and a against a very talented side as well and hopefully we can both teams can put on a real good show for those three games and and entertain what should be a, a very um, excitable and uh, interested crowd so yeah it should be good looking forward to it uh, Joe yeah there's been a remarkable transformation of the England team so how important it is to win test series in the subcontinent to achieve that goal of being a uh, top team? I think you've got to be consistent wherever you go in the world if you want to be the best team in the world. So, um, of course, you, you, that you do everything you can to do that. The one thing that we, this team will do is we'll, whatever the situation of the game, we'll look to go and win it. I think there's only two results possible when we play. If Pakistan are good enough to beat us and our players, then fair play to them. Um, but we'll be certainly doing everything we can to go and win this series and, and win each, each, each game from whatever position we find ourselves in. 